You know those people on Instagram who look like they have professional photographers and stylists around them at all times? Well, some of them do, and some of them just have some really simple tricks that make their photos look amazing. This professional aesthetic is called an Instagram theme, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few apps and a few tips and tricks to get your own unique look, feel, and vibe to your Instagram account. Why do you need an Instagram theme? Well, you don't. If you're using Instagram for personal reasons, it really doesn't matter. However, if you're using it for any kind of branding or business purpose, or if you just want your Instagram to look a little nicer and a little more professional, then you definitely wanna consider implementing an Instagram theme. Having a consistent look and feel to your Instagram photos does increase engagement because it helps you stand out amongst a cluttered feed, but also because it's just plain facts. In a study of over 8 million Instagram images, a few findings were that light and bright images got 24% more likes, images with low saturation got 18% more likes, and images with high levels of texture got 79% more likes. I'll put a link to that full study below. So how do you perfect your own Instagram theme? There are five key elements. Number one, crop all of your images the same way. There are so many different tools that you can use to crop your photos, but one of my favorites is called Afterlight. So you go into your camera roll and choose your photo. I'll use an example that I posted recently on Instagram. You can use this, go to all of the different crops here at the bottom, you can see that there are the original crops that you can use with borders, outlines, circular, oval, tons of different options. And you get out of that, there's also some really cool um, different shapes that you can use and try out for your photos on Instagram. Before you pick any kind of background for your crop, you want to make sure that it's the right size to fit your theme. So all of the photos on my Instagram page are 4x3, so I make sure that it fits those dimensions. And another option for cropping, which is what I use, is Square Ready. And you can add your photo from your favorites, and you can crop it into any kind of rectangle or square that you want. I like it to hit the borders, so this is the uh, crop that I use. Number two, keep a consistent filter. You can add filters to your photos within Instagram, but I usually do it with an external app, so Camera Plus is a great option to do that. Go back in to your photos, so you can choose clarity to make things a little more vibrant. There's also tons of different filter options within here uh, that you can try out. And I used Afterlight before, but I also come back to Afterlight if I want to add some light leaks to add a little dimension to your photos and you can flip them around using this tool and it just adds a cool effect uh, to your photos on Instagram. And Pixlr is a great option to brighten your photos. Remember, bright photos perform really well on Instagram. So the tool that you can use in here, there are so many, but the one that I like to use is Brighten. And you just increase the brush size to as big as you want it to be and you just brush your hand over the screen and it automatically brightens the look of the image. And Facetune is an option that a lot of professional bloggers use. They pick the whitening tool at the bottom here, and you can whiten the background of the photo really easily to give it that bright white quality. And you just have to be really careful around the edges, but you can erase anything that uh, doesn't look quite right. But you get the gist. So you can add uh, a white backdrop to pretty much any photo that you want to make it look a little brighter. And you'll notice this is a really popular option for a lot of bloggers on Instagram. They love that white, clean backdrop. And one of the most popular apps for filters outside of Instagram is called VSCO Cam. So you can import your photos. So you add your filters through the tools at the bottom here, and they have presets that are really, really nice filters to give sort of a raw look and feel to your photos. But you can also play with the tools down here and tune it to your own liking. You can also increase the contrast, sharpen your images, increase the saturation or decrease it, increase the color temperature, and you can add a little bit of a color tint through VSCO Cam too. Another option for brightening your photos is through VSCO Cam too. So you use the exposure option. You can go as bright as you want to. Number three, 
find a subject or a category and stick with it. Once you become known for something, that's what people expect to see, and consistency is the key to higher engagement. So you can post things in the category of food, or fashion, or architecture. Those are some of the most popular categories on Instagram. And of course, you can also post images that are more fun, like pictures of a dinosaur doing different things, or even your cat. We all know that some of the most successful Instagram accounts have nothing to do with people and everything to do with cats and dogs. Number four, staging and posing. Now this may feel totally unnatural, but remember that you're competing against big brands with big budgets and they're putting stylists and a lot of thought into the photos that they post on Instagram. So in order for you to compete, you have to put a little bit of thought and strategy into your photos. So if you're a food blogger, um, map out how your photos are gonna look before you post them. If you're a fashion blogger, have a friend go out with you and take photos of you and set up locations. Act natural, make it look natural, but we all know there's someone there taking the photo of you. And that will help with the aesthetic of your photos and make them look more professional. And the fifth and final element is your captions. Keep them consistent. If you always do long form captions, try and stick with that. Uh, and there's a few tricks that you can use to get long form captions. Don't write them in Instagram because you can't actually put in a paragraph break in Instagram. You have to write your captions in your notes on your phone or in an email or text message. And then you just copy and paste that into Instagram. Or you could use bold lines in your captions, that's another popular method, or forward slashes, whatever it is that you like the look and feel of, stick with that in your captions across the board on Instagram. My friend Sue Zimmerman has some amazing tips on creating unique looking captions and obviously some other great Instagram tips because she is the Instagram expert. I'll put a link to her account below and you'll find lots of great resources and information there. I put links to all of the apps that I mentioned below and I'd love to hear what apps you use to make your Instagram photos look amazing. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends, hit the like button below, and be sure to subscribe because I post new video marketing and social media tutorials every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.